In this beautiful cemetery lies the grave of someone who wasn't just a local celebrity, but he became nationally known as well. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Erlanger, Kentucky, to the grave of Kenny Price. He was a local boy that made good, but he never forgot his roots. And I can't wait to share some of the highlights of his career with you. So let's get started. Our adventure starts here. Born James Kenneth Price, he was known as Kenny and was a multifaceted entertainer. He was a country music singer, he was a songwriter, and he was an actor. He was also nicknamed Round Mound of the South because of his size. Kenny recorded for Boone and RCA Victor as well as MRC and Dimension Records labels, charting 34 singles on the Hot Country Song Charts between 1966 and 1980. He had two singles, Walking on New Grass and Happy Tracks, that both reached number seven. Kenny was born in Florence, Kentucky and was raised on a farm in Boone County. He learned to play guitar when he was five years old, and by the age of 14, he started playing live music. From 1952 until 1954, he served in the U.S. Army during the Korean War and reached the rank of corporal. And while he was stationed in Korea, he auditioned for a USO show. And before being discharged, he decided to become a professional musician. When he got home, he studied for a brief time at the Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music, and his big break came when he became a musician on the Midwestern Hayride on WLWT. And eventually, he took over as the show's host until it went off the air in the early 1970s. Kenny first recorded for Boone Records, then moved on to RCA Records in 1969, where he stayed until 1976. For most of his career, Kenny worked with a man named Ray Pennington because his style complemented his own. And some of his hits included Northeast Arkansas Mississippi County Bootlegger, and that reached the top 20 in 1969, and the Sheriff of Boone County, which was a pop crossover that hit the top 10. His novelty song, This Is the Shortest Song in the World, was written with record producer Ronnie Light and enjoyed some airplay after the release on an album in 1970. And while researching this vlog, I listened to samples on iTunes, and he had a great voice. He recorded some wonderful versions of Old Shep, Peace in the Valley, and Green Green Grass of Home. Kenny was a pretty big man. He was six and a half feet tall and weighed almost 300 pounds for most of his professional career. And as I mentioned before, he was nicknamed the Round Mound of Sound and wrote a song by the same name. Many of his comedic songs made reference to his size, like the heavyweight, and in later years, when he became significantly thinner, he lampooned himself in the song, The Boone County Weight Watchers of America. In 1976, Kenny moved to Nashville and became a regular on the country music-themed TV show Hee Haw and remained with the show until his death. He served as the bass vocalist for the Hee Haw Gospel Quartet, which included Grandpa Jones, Buck Owens, and Roy Clark. Later, Kenny and fellow Hee Haw cast member Lulu Roman got their own short-lived spin-off series called Hee Haw Honeys, which ran from 1978 until 1979. Kenny and Lulu Roman also guest starred on two episodes of The Love Boat, he later had a small role in the film Cold Justice, which was released after his death. Another familiar face that starred on the Hee Haw Honeys was Kathy Lee Gifford. Kenny's wife Donna wrote a few memorable songs for him, including the hit Let's Truck Together. And in the mid-1980s, Kenny and Donna starred in the Nashville Network travelogue series called Wish You Were Here, where they traveled across the U.S. in an RV and visited places of interest. And what I find fascinating about this is that now on YouTube you see so many videos and so many channels devoted to RV living and sprinter van living that in a way they were ahead of their time. Sadly on August 4th 1987 Kenny died of a heart attack in Florence Kentucky and he was only 56 years old. Before I leave, I found out both his parents and his sister are buried elsewhere in this cemetery. So let me go see if I can find their graves and show them to you. And here they are. This is William Price, Kenny's dad. And this is Kenny's mother, Mary Clayton Price. And she did not pass away until 2001. And to the left of William Price's grave is Barbara J. Price Wilson's grave. She is William's daughter and Kenny's sister, and she died in December of 2010.
While doing research for this vlog, I was impressed about how so many people really loved Kenny. They said that he was down to earth, and even after he became a celebrity on Hee Haw and Hee Haw Honeys, he kept a house here in Northern Kentucky. And in fact, he was so beloved that they named a section of US 42 between I-75 and Gunpowder Road, the Kenny Price Memorial Highway. And he was inducted into the Northern Kentucky Music Legends Hall of Fame. And if you haven't heard his music, go check him out on iTunes. I think you'll like it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. In the description box down below, I have links to my Teespring and my Patreon. Until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off.